hi welcome back to another video if you've been here before if you haven't then welcome to my youtube channel if like me you now own a qnap nas to store your shared files folders data music media and so on and also you previously own a Synology NAS and you want to know how to back up files on your QNAP NAS as your main shared NAS drive to your Synology one so use your Synology as the backup device then this video will show you how to back up those files from a QNAP NAS to a Synology NAS so here we are logged in to my Synology NAS and what we need to do first is go to control panel so select control panel then with the control panel window open what we need to do is select file services and in file services once you've got file services open you need to select rsync so it's next to ftp and advanced so select rsync and what we need to do is enable the rsync service so put a tick in that box and in the SSH encryption port you can leave that as 22 which is the default then for enable rsync account make sure that is ticked then what we need to do is select edit rsync account then with the rsync account window open click on add then what we need to do is select a user from the drop down list using the arrow for an administrator account so make sure you're using an administrator account so that they have privileges to access all of the shared folders just in case if you choose a user account and not an administrator account they may not be able to access some of the shared folders for backing up too so make sure you select a user with administrator privileges so i'll paste in the password and once you've done that click OK then you'll see we've now got an rsync account with the user in there and we can click on close that completes the Synology part of setting up the backup service so once you've done that click apply in the bottom right corner and as you'll see we've got changes applied so that completes that section so you can now actually log out of your Synology NAS then what you need to do is go to your QNAP NAS so here we are and I've already logged into the QNAP NAS and what we need to do is select App Center now if you have the icon on your desktop then just select App Center from there or if you don't then go to the top right corner and select the three bars which is main menu and then select App Center from the list that appears then what we need to do with the magnifying glass at the top right corner is click on this and this will reveal a search box in the search box type hybrid h-y-b-r-i-d and this should then pop up with hbs3 hybrid backup sync now as you can see we've got hbs here so what we need to do is install this so click on install and as you will see it's now processing and installing HBS3 hybrid backup sync so just wait for this to finish installing and as you can see we've now got HBS installed and if we close that window it's now put the HBS3 hybrid backup sync icon on our desktop here so what we need to do is click on this then from the my QNAP cloud storage window that appears you can click X to close that then for the discontinued access to Amazon Drive you can also click I understand and then for the hybrid backup sync privacy policy make sure you tick I have read and agree to the terms and click OK then with the welcome to HBS3 window you can click skip on that and then for the display this guide next time you start the app you can click no this has now taken us into the HBS3 overview screen as you'll see and what we need to do to create our backup task and to connect it to our Synology what we need to do is select sync from the left side menu so click on that and then you should have the window synchronize collaborate and share now 
with the sync now button what you need to do is click the drop down arrow and select one way sync job so this is a one way sync job as it's just backing up files from the QNAP to the Synology hence why it's a one way sync job so select this and then with the create a sync job window that appears for the NAS and remote server what we need to do is select rsync so select remote rsync server and then with the window that appears on the screen for remote rsync server in the name give your Synology NAS a name so for example mine is called NAS1 you can type any name you want in there and then in the IP address stroke hostname box you can either type in the host name of your NAS or the IP address so in this case I'm going to type in the IP address of my Synology NAS where we're backing up the files to so in this case it's 192.168.1.5 your IP address will be different of course however just get the IP address correct in there and for the port you can leave that as default which is 873 and then for the server type what you need to do is select the drop down arrow and then what you need to do is select NAS based rsync server so it's the third option down in the list so it's NAS based rsync server then for server type you should have NAS based rsync server in there selected and for the username what we're going to do is type in the username and password that we just enabled on our Synology NAS control panel so in this case we're typing in the administrator account details on our Synology NAS so once you've done that you can then also select use encryption port so tick that box and it should reveal 22 in there so leave that number as default and then what we're going to do is click on test connection as you will see we've now got the test connection success message if you don't get this message then it means that you've typed in the IP address wrong or the server type has been selected wrong or you've typed in the wrong username and password for your Synology NAS here so just make sure that there's those are correct and that you've got the test connection success message if you have then click on create now you will see we've got NAS01 at the bottom here an IP address of the Synology NAS so if you have click select and then for the job name we're going to give our backup job a name so in this case it's called backup QNAP to Synology however you can type any job name you want and in the description box you can also type in anything you like there however I'll just leave this blank now under the local NAS section this is our, for our QDAP NAS what we're going to do is click plus and then what we're going to do is double click on the folders that we want to back up from so in this case we're backing up data however if you've got more than one folder just double click on each one that you want and click OK then for the NAS01 which is our Synology NAS what we're going to do is click the plus symbol and then we're going to select the folder where we want our files backing up to so in this case we'll back them up to video so we'll double click that and then we'll click on OK and here we've now got so we're backing up data from local NAS from the data folder to our Synology NAS so it's NAS01 to the video folder so once you've done that click next then what you can do in the schedule section is you can schedule it with a date and time or multiple dates and times so click on scheduler then click on plus and select the days weeks months or whatever from the options there however in this case we'll just click cancel and we'll scroll down and click no schedule so what I'm going to do is just back it up as and when I choose hence why I'm selecting no schedule so once you've done that click next 
and then for all the other remaining options for policies, options and network here, just click next because you can leave those all as default. And here we have the summary job settings now. So it's backing up from our QNAP NAS, which is our local NAS, to our Synology NAS, which is NAS01. So once we've done confirm that those details are all correct, we'll click create. And as you can see, we've now got the summary screen. So it's back up QNAP to Synology. And to back up, all you need to do is click on the sync now button. And as you can see, we've now got syncing and it's now success. So what it's done is copied those files across via backup and our sync to our Synology NAS from our QNAP NAS. So that's how easy it is to back up files from a QNAP NAS to a Synology NAS. I hope you liked this video. Hope you found it useful. And uh, just to confirm that for the QNAP, I'm using QDAP QTS version 5.2. However, if you're using an earlier version, say 5.1, you can just follow along with the video because it should be a very similar process in between 5.1 and 5.2 versions as of when this video is recorded and that is August 2024. So hope you like this video. Hope you found it useful and to make use of your old Synology NAS as a backup NAS and also of course your new shiny QNAP NAS to store your data files on. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. Bye for now.